It was a special day. I'm going to have lunch with some ex-colleagues, which I have not seen them for a long time. As we were to go in for lunch, I suddenly felt a pain in my neck and uh, it was so painful that I fainted. When that happened, I think my first reaction is, am I going to die? And I've just become a mum of a three and a half years daughter, very afraid what will happen to her if I were to pass on. Radiologists are crucial to oncologists. Okay, from the point of diagnosis of cancer itself, right? Uh, radiologists are often involved and in order to achieve uh, accurate diagnosis in the quickest time possible, whether it's to get the right imaging done, to get actually a biopsy done, and in the treatment of the cancer patients itself, our radiology colleagues are also uh, involved and we bug them a lot. But there's the actual direct treatment of the cancer, where the things like ablation, and obviously often the interventional radiologists are called upon to help us do that. Or even to deal with the complications of cancer, like putting lines in, drains in, or they really save us most of the time in that respect and makes a lot of difference for our patient care. Dr. Tan Kim Ping is a pioneer in radiological sciences in Singapore. He laid the foundations for strong academic pursuits in radiology. From the setting up of 24-7 services for radiology, he also uh, encouraged uh, radiologists to uh, participate in research. And therefore, he is a visionary in academic excellence. We are proud to establish the Tan Kim Ping Academic Fund with Radiological Sciences Academic Clinical Programme to advance radiological sciences through research, education and translating it to effective treatments for our patients. It is an exciting time for radiology. It is making lots of technological advances. As a result of all these advances, we can apply them in patient treatment and improve patient outcomes. Example of this is using imaging technology to guide minimally invasive interventions for treatment of conditions such as cancer and stroke. Diagnostic tests such as magnetic resonance imaging or MRI, computed tomography or CT scans, and nuclear medicine techniques have revolutionised the way we detect, diagnose and treat diseases and injuries. We work together with our colleagues from different institutions to carry out research to find treatments for diseases and conditions commonly found in Singapore. We strive to use brand new methods of seeing inside the body to diagnose diseases which can eventually be used routinely to examine patients. For example, we are pursuing research in stroke, dementia and Parkinson's disease as well as healthy brain functions using a variety of imaging techniques. With this program, we are creating a database that can be accessed by researchers around the world, potentially helping millions of patients. When I woke up, I was worried that I may not live a long life to, for my daughter. However, Dr. Lim came and uh, explained what I have and what he can do for me this new process versus the uh, traditional method. And it seems that this process is better, faster recovery. It was really surprising that I can recover so well. Research is very important because if there is no research, um, I probably will not be here today. Hi, I'm Nhi Huat. I'm running 345 kilometers across Scotland in support of red sizes. Find out how you can support them too.